as we finish up our conference. And you know, when they sent me the topic, they wanted me to talk to y'all about finishing these last few months and soaring into seminar. Y'all know that's been our theme. We're excited about it. And as I was prepping and thinking at what you need to hear and really what God put on my heart for you to hear is your next few months are going to lead you when you soar into not just reaching goals, which is great, not just hitting a number, but soaring you into your next best thing. And what I know is every time I push March, April, May, and June, my legacy got stronger. I Today, I had asked my children and my husband and my mama, and of course my sister's here, she's in the sales force, uh, to come because I wanted to honor them. Because legacy to me is honoring your past while blazing a trail for your future and looking towards the next and what we're leaving behind. And what is so amazing about this company is we are able to put God first family second, and career third. And I think sometimes we forget how important that is. And then we live those values every single day. And I can stand up here with complete authenticity and say, my daughter is the sales director today because she watched that model in our home. She wanted to do what her mama did. I wanted to do what my mama did because she modeled God family career. So I just want to start off by saying thank you to my incredible bride. Y'all, I'm not even a crier. My incredible mother who came today and supports everything I've ever done, I ever do. She's always told me I can be the best at anything. And she's there, whether it's at a state golf tournament, following me around in a golf cart with honey buns and bees chasing her to coming here and being a part of this. Thank you, Mom. I love you so much. National Sales Director, Senior National Sales Director, Emeritus, Scarlett Walker Simpson. Very kind of thing. Y'all think about your legacy. And then I want to honor my husband, who is by my side, day in, day out. He knows how much joy Mary Kay brings me. He knows my happiness is being in the living room. And you know, when you see the queens on stage, what they really are, when you saw the top 10, those are the people in the field. Those are the people going into the homes. They, they are putting product on faces. They are sharing this opportunity. And I have mad respect for anyone that does what we do because y'all, we roll up our sleeves when we go to work and Shane knows that it brings me so much joy, so much happiness, is to be with the people and get to know their babies, get to know their families. And I thank you for supporting me with every single endeavor, crazy idea I had, late nights. Last night, I think we went to bed at 2.30, the alarm went off at 4.30, and we were ready to start this day. And what I know is, he walks it like he talks it. And that is a theme in our house, and I love you and appreciate you so, so much. And of course, my sister, talk director, Crystal Hunsucker, I love you more than words. She is part of my mom's legacy, carrying this on, earning talk director trip after talk director trip. You know why? Because she built strong. She did the faces. She shared the opportunity. So I'm so proud of you. I'm so blessed to be your national sales director and just always appreciate her too. And last, my four babies. I have four children. And y'all, they range off starting at 26. And they are my why. And I want to say this. Do you know your why? You've got to know what makes you get up early? What makes you stay up late? What are you leaving behind? Because I know 
that I would go, just like you heard the last speaker say, over, around, under, and through any obstacle, not just because I'm worth it, not just because my husband is worth, worth it, but more importantly, those four babies are worth it. And I love you. I appreciate you. We go to countless ball games. I mean, countless ball games and watch and cheer on. And I appreciate y'all honoring me today, being in the room, cheering your mama on. Honor is a big deal in our family. So I love you, Walker. I love you, Aspen. I love you, Waverly. I love you, Shug. That's my baby. And I love you, Maverick. And so what I know is your dreams are attached to so many other lives. What you do every single day matters. Whether you have little people in your home watching you, like I do, or grown adults looking to you to keep carrying the torch, or if it's your family or your parents or whoever it is. But this company is what dreams are made of. My daughter, Waverly Whisper, was the number one director last year in the North America region. And I'm so proud of her. And I still see her as a little girl in her little mermaid gown, standing on my bed, and we would both have brush microphones, singing the Hillary Duff song, This Is What Dreams Are Made Of. And I let her pick my national song. That is my national song. I can't sing, so I won't sing it for you. But my family has been involved day one. So figure out what is your why? What keeps you going? And what I know that I know that I know is when your why is big enough, there is nothing that can stop you. There is nothing that can keep you from soaring to new heights. Y'all, I have done this business every possible way you can, meaning in all different aspects of life. Over a span of over 24 years, you grow up a lot. I started as a kid, raising kids, and then and over the course of the year of the years, now I'm a grandma. I have two beautiful grandchildren. I have to tell about them. And I said, you know what? I had no idea in my 20s that I was going to be building a legacy that my daughter could now be a work from home mama and be with her little girl, McKinney Jean, and her little boy Wells every single day and work a business around what matters most. So what is it? God, family, career. And it doesn't mean that we never work. It means that we have our priorities and we're sprinkling it all in. But when you live a life of what matters most to you, you stand firm in what matters most to you. You don't waver. You're thinking, my goodness, what a gift the company just gave us with double credit and a $10 dadgum starter kit, y'all. Are you excited about it? Are you signing everybody up? Are you thinking, who do I know that maybe they're like Kimberly? Maybe they're in their 20s. Maybe they need this. Who do I know that's like me? Who do I know that's like my sister? I'm always thinking outside the box. But what I know is the reason these kids are in this room today is they always watch me walk, work this business with integrity. They watch me work this business around them, around their ball games, around their cheer competitions. And they saw a mama who was present, but still made money. Is that not awesome that we get to do that, Mary Kay? We are not corporate America. And so keep that in mind, y'all. I'm freedom and flexibility. That's my personality type. So if you know anything about that, is I like different things every day. That's one reason Mary Kay is such a good fit for me. Now, I wanted to take the word soar. We're soaring like never before, right? We're soaring. I want y'all to really think about that. And I love acrostics. So I gave you, I want you to write S-O-A-R on your, I like, y'all, this is how I teach. 
I like handwritten notes, but you can put it in your phone. S O A R. And the S in SOAR stands for supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Not to Google it, to spell it. I'm one of those people, I wake up in a great mood. I, I wake up happy. I wake up knowing every single day is a gift from God. And I have a mindset. Who am I going to impact today? Did my words impact for good? Or did I bring someone down? To me, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, if you know the Mary Poppins movie, is she fun? I found a verse up there that's just like Mary Poppins. You don't know what's going to pop out of it. And so what I know is I'm going to have fun. I'm going to be excited. I'm going to be a people magnet. Y'all, to soar, you've got to be a people magnet. When you are a happy person, you attract people to your life. The O in SOAR is overboard. If you follow me on social media, you know I'm a little overboard. And I take that in the best, that, that's a compliment. If somebody tells me, gosh, you just go overboard. I'm like, don't you love it? Here's the thing, y'all. Get overboard about your business. I am overboard about my man. Y'all, I have the best husband in the whole wide world, and I scream it from the rooftops. I tell everyone, he knows I'm overboard in my love for him. I am overboard about my family. I am overboard about the family that I grew up in because I'm so grateful that I had parents who taught me about honor, respect, and love. I'm so grateful for that. I'm overboard about this company. There is no one around me that does not know that I'm in the pink life. There is no one around me that does not know that I love them if they are in my space. So get overboard. I can tell you, you want to soar these next four months? Get overboard. What is? What do you need to double? get your double credit? Max it out. Six? Six new team members? Go overboard. Why don't you get 12? It's a $10 starter kit, y'all. Anybody can go and get as many people as they want right now. You're getting them to make that decision. And then they're going to get in and go, oh, my gosh. I had no idea. This is so amazing. The A. Now, y'all, I could not decide on one A word. So I have a few. The first is attitude. Attitude is the hinge that the door of your destiny swings. You've got to take your minutes and get over it. Take your minutes, get over it. And y'all, your attitude is everything. And your attitude truly controls your destiny. My mom, from the time we were little girls, when we would act ugly, she would snap her fingers and say, you need an AA, attitude adjustment. So to this day, my kids can tell you, I will say to them, what is your attitude? I have a son that plays baseball. Well, all my boys play baseball. But Maverick is in a baseball season right now. And he's on the varsity baseball team in our town. And y'all, this kid can hit. And he can crush the ball in the cage. He has something that happens. When he gets into live pitches and he is like, gets nervous. Now, these last few games, he really has stepped up and been putting the bat to the ball. So he hears me in the stands say, put the bat to the ball. He goes, Mom, stop saying that. Stop telling me that I know to put the bat to the ball. You don't even tell me how to to bat. Y'all, some of us are great practicers. You need to put the bat to the ball. That's what you've got to do these next four months. But it starts in your mind. What we can believe, what did Mary Kay Ash say? We can achieve. So get up and swing the dadgum bat and hit a home run out of the park. Why not if you're going to be up there anyway? Now we're complaining it this year. It's happening. Also with A is accelerate. We are in a season of acceleration. And I've been claiming it. I've been
been believing it. I've been seeing it. Do you ever do work and you know, like you see results, but you know there's something bigger in the distance? Y'all, that is the season that I see in our company right now. We have the best corporate leaders we have ever had in place. Y'all trust them, believe in them, and know that they are trying to accelerate your business. Why did they give you this gift of double credit? To accelerate you to soar these next four months. But you've got to believe it. You've got to know Ryan. He wants his grandmother's company that's now his company to soar to great heights. He is doing everything behind the scenes to accelerate this opportunity. The other two A words I want to give you is alignment. Your alignment will determine your assignment. Y'all, what do I mean by that? Life is so much more than where the bus is going. It's who's on the bus with you. And I can tell you, you show me your friends and I will show you your future. My mama taught me that from a little bitty girl, that it mattered who I hung around. It mattered who I had in my space. And if you're like, gosh, I've got these friends, they don't support me. They're not excited about my Mary Kay, guess what? Get some new friends. Find some people that want you to succeed. Find some people that cheer you on, not just to your face, but behind your back. Find people that pray for you, not talk about you. And the last A is authenticity. One thing about me, what you see is what you get. I'm not going to pretend to be something I'm not. And that will go a long, long way in your business. You don't have to be me. You don't have to be your director. You get to be you. You get to decide exactly what life you want. And you can work hard. Here's the great thing. The plan is the same for all of us. What is it? Faces, sharing the opportunity, coaching, selling. Y'all, nothing happens to what? Somebody sells something. But what you have to know, you've got to be authentic in what you're doing. The reason I've been successful is because I'm authentic when I'm sharing the product. I use it. I, I can do what I do because of my authenticity, and you can too. The R in SOAR is run your own race. We live in a time where everyone is playing the comparison game. And what you have got to realize, anyone with any sense at all is not sharing their bad stuff on social media. Does that mean their life is absent of negative? No. Does that mean that they don't have problems? No. But you're seeing the parties. You're seeing the excitement. You're saying, do you think I go on social media and say, oh my gosh, we really just had a 20-person party cancel on Sunday. No. We're going to rebook it and get excited, and we're going to post when that party holds, and the sales happen. But what people do is they see the great things, and they forget that there were little pieces of no's. There were little pieces of quitters. There were little pieces of things that happened in between people not doing what they said they were going to do in between every success. And then you're thinking, what do you know about yourself? All those things. You know every high, every low, and you're many, many times comparing your low to everyone else's high. So I just say run your race relentlessly. I have a nephew, and he stayed with us not too long ago. Well, a few years ago, he lived smaller. And he had not been away from his parents a lot, and they were out of town. He lived in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And that child, for about 10 solid hours, every two minutes, would you say, Shay, every two minutes, said, I want to go to Tulsa. 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 All night long, I said, baby, I want you to go to Tulsa, too. I can guarantee you. Here 
years that then he was relentless. He wanted his mama and dad. He was relentless about it. Are you relentless? I'm going to be in the sales court. I'm going to be in the sales court. I'm going to be in the sales court. Whatever your goal is, you run your race relentlessly. And his name is Cash. She said, I'm going to be like Cash. Everybody I come in contact with, I am going to tell them this is my goal. This is what I'm doing. Get on board the train or move out of the way. When you live in a super califragilistic expialidocious mindset, you go a little overboard and you're good with it and you own it and you accelerate. You have the right alignment. You have a God attitude. Because I'm, I hate to tell y'all the enemy is always going to be attacking. I would love to tell you I'm immune to it, but I'm not. The enemy is out there, but what you have to know is that your attitude when you have a negative will determine what your aptitude as you move forward. And then are you authentic? That will determine your acceleration in the last of running your own race. And what I know is when we choose to soar, we can all end up just like I have. Where you are living a life that other people dream of living. My daughter-in-law this week, she had been on a ski trip with us last week, and she would ask Waverly, my other daughter, questions about Mary Kay, but we'd never really forced it on her. And Waverly would answer, and then I don't want her to feel like she has to do it. You know how you are with your family. And on Wednesday, she called Waverly after lunch and said, would you come over and show me how I can do this? I really want this for my kids. I want to be able to, she doesn't have children yet, no, no news coming here. I want to be able to live like you live and your mom live. And she got started on Wednesday. You want me to tell you why I know you can all be whatever goal you decide. She is already a team leader today. Y'all know about football in Texas. It starts August 1 and hot, 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 hot. 
and he, he was seven way back then with his pads and all his stuff and all the things. And he had practiced and practiced and practiced in the heat with the pads, all the things. And it was the first game. And my mom was there. My sister was there. My, our family were at everything. We do everything together. And they were there supporting, of course, Walker and Waverly Maverick. And Memphis was the quarterback. And it was just getting hit in a game versus practice felt different. And I'm going to show you the correlation here. And he was down. And the game was over, and he was holding his head down to my mom. I can't even remember if we won or lost. I had, it, did, we lost. We lost. Shay said, yeah, we lost. I don't remember those details. I just remember the demeanor of my son. And he sober and man said, my mom starts building him up. You know, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. She's like saying these things to him. And, and he starts smiling a little. And then he goes, Mom, I don't want to ride home with Dad. We always take two cars because Shay coaches. And I ride with you. And I said, of course, of course. And we get in the car. And he takes his pads off. And he goes, I need to ask you a question. Is it too late to quit? <laughs> Y'all, it's too late to quit. But here's what I know. We practice hard. We get on those phones. We go to our meetings. Y'all, you got to get some real game time these last four months. This is not the time to quit. My little seven-year-old can put those pads and that helmet back on in 110 degree heat. We can call another person. We can meet another stranger. We can invite someone because y'all, you never know who's on the other side of the yes. And don't be thinking, I need her, I need her, I need her, I need her. She needs you. She needs this. This isn't about a number on a team. This is about I can end up impacting her life, her legacy. She could have her family on this back row. This has happened because my mama said yes. This has happened because my mom lived a life of God, family, career, and passed it to me. I passed it to my daughter, and that is what you see here today. So what I know, y'all, you're worth it. Your days are worth it. Many days I go to bed happily exhausted, and what I know is when I go to bed happily exhausted, I don't even need Netflix to fall asleep. We'll turn it on. I'm asleep in five minutes. Because what I know, if you know me, I say this. When I work, I win. When I work, I win. And y'all, you will win with your finances. You will win with your family. You will win with God. And you will win in life. And you most definitely, I've never seen anyone that I've worked with work this business and not win. So as I close out today, I want you to think about what is your dream? What do you see that you want to leave through this company? You know, my mentor, Pat Fortenberry, she used to always say, if people tell you they do Mary Kay for anything other than money, they lie about other things too. <laughs> and I know we all have a lot of reasons why we love this business why we love this company. But I want you to really think about who all is in this room because of your yes. Who do you want in the next room because of your yes? Who's going to be sitting by you at the next function who might have tears in their eyes because you asked them and now their life looks different because they said yes to you. So here's what I know. My son just had a 16th birthday and we celebrated in Las Vegas with him and some of his friends. And when we got there, we had this big, huge limo thing picking us up. It was like a truck. I don't know what it was. It was massive. 
and Waverly was helping DJ, and I don't know if this song has bad words, I don't think it does, but, because you know a lot of songs nowadays do, but it's a song called Walk It Like I Talk It, and I did not know what it was, but they turned just that little verse off, Walk It Like I Talk It, they're like, this is our song, we're going to walk it like we talk it, and so I would get in a mindset. Are you walking it like you talk it? Are you walking it in every area of your life like you talk it at Mary Kay? Or do you get big and bold when you're with us and then you get back home and you shrink back, scared to death? Walk it like you talk it. And what I know is when you do, you will soar. You will be able to design a life that you love and you will be on that seminar stage celebrating all your accomplishments. Thank y'all so much.